Hey everybody, thanks for joining me one more time. Today the objective is all about the nitrogen cycle. We're going to understand the ins and the outs of the nitrogen cycle and why it's such a big deal. Uh, if we are going all of Sesame Street, the letter of today is N. So we're going to go ahead and set this up a la Cornell and our essential questions are this. Uh, what are the main processes in the nitrogen cycle? Why is nitrogen cycle, uh, why is it such a big deal? And then also how have humans impacted that cycle and what are some of the environmental consequences that go along with that? And so uh, why is nitrogen such a big deal? We're going to start with that. And the reason is, is if you remember from your biology days, DNA is, uh, contains nitrogen. And so if you take a look at uh, our different types of uh, base codes here. We've got the adenine, the cytosine, the guanine, the thymine, even uracil. If you look at all of these, they have a nitrogen atom in there multiple times. we got to get that nitrogen. Also, uh, amino acids and proteins are made of nitrogen. So without nitrogen, uh, really life as we know it would not exist. And so we got to get the nitrogen. Uh, and most of the nitrogen is in the air. In fact, uh, most of every breath of air you've ever taken has been nitrogen. And so why, why can't we just get it from there, the same way we get oxygen? And the reason for that is because if you take a look, uh, and oxygen's 21%, for the record, uh, oxygen's got a double bond between those two atoms. It's also just two atoms together, O2 versus the N2, but the N2 has got the triple bond. Uh, and if you wanted to do the dot structure, because you can, that's what it would look like. Uh, and the triple bond is stronger than the double bond. We can't get it uh, through the air. In fact, really nothing can get it through the air except one creature, which is bacteria, our old friend, bacteria. And so here is how it works. Basically, what's evolved is this really cool system, uh, some mutualistic relationship between bacteria and certain types of plants. So if you look at this plant here, so it's the root system of a legume. Um, legumes are like peas and beans and things like that, uh, alfalfa, clover. Uh, and that little ball there is called the nodule. And inside there is where the bacteria live. And the bacteria get sugar from the plant for food. And in turn, the bacteria break that nitrogen and give it to the plant in a usable form. So the plant can then suck it up. And then, you know, I don't know, cow eats plant person eats cow or just kind of goes through the food chain. So that's the way you get your protein is through eating it, not breathing it yet. Um, but you never know. And so that's how it works. And what I want to do is kind of whip you through a couple cycles here. I scoured the internet and could, and I found a, there's a whole bunch of nitrogen cycles out there. They're not all good. I actually kind of don't like this one. That one I like better because it's got these cute little drawings of a cow, but I'm not going to use that one either or this one. But once, we're, once it's all said and done, go back to these cycles and see if you can make sense of it. I'm going to show it to you on this one. So I'm just going to walk you through this thing, and uh, I hope that it, it makes sense as we go. So we're going to start up here in the, the storage spot. The store of the nitrogen is in the air. That's something to remember. 78% of it air is, is nitrogen gas. So we're going to start there, and then we're going to follow this first pathway down here. Uh, and it says fixation by nitrogen fixing bacteria in the legroom root nodules. And so the bacteria are breaking that nitrogen apart and then it joins with uh, three hydrogens to make NH3 or ammonia. And then uh, another hydrogen hops on so you get the, the ionic form of it and that's called ammonium. And so that is already a major step. Breaking that into is the, you know, the most important thing. Uh, it takes a lot of energy. We're going to talk about this later. The other way it can happen is with lightning, uh, if bacteria, or just in addition to bacteria, but we'll come back to that. So down here we are at NH4. A different type of bacteria converts that to NO2, uh, which is called a nitrite. And then a different bacteria converts the nitrite to a nitrate, an NO3. And so bacteria every step of the way. And at that point, it can be sucked up by the root system of other plants or the legumes, and it uh, then the plant uh, basically breaks it apart and turns, it takes that nitrogen and starts making its own amino acids and proteins. And then this elk, I think that's an elk, eats the plant. Now the elk has the protein and it makes it its own. And then maybe the elk gets eaten by something else, um, like a shark. And then the shark's got the protein. It just travels up the food chain. 
or that elk is going to defecate and urinate and lose some of that uh, nitrogen through that. And you've maybe heard that manure makes a really great fertilizer. Uh, and so then it goes back to the ground and then you got decomposers like fungi and more bacteria come in and break that down and it goes back into ammonia. There's actually another process for that. That's called ammonification. Uh, and then it goes through this process again. And so when it gets turned into the nitrites and nitrates, you have nitrification. So three processes so far. You got nitrogen fixation here, nitrification, and then ammonification there. And then uh, it gets back down here to nitrates, and after all that trouble to make nitrates, there's actually another type of bacteria that can turn that nitrate back into nitrogen gas. It's called denitrification, and it's done by denitrifying bacteria, and it goes up here and it starts all over again. Um, and so there you have it. Uh, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna cut this off just because I want to make these videos shorter, and but I'm gonna have you go back here, take a look. Flip back to those other cycles and just see if you can follow it for a second. Part two is coming here in a second, so don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you a trick on how you're going to remember that because there's a lot going on there. Uh, and also uh, just the human impact on the nitrogen cycle and kind of what we've done. So let me, I'm going to see you again here in a minute. Don't go anywhere, but thanks so far.